Hello, I'm Raida Boost and in this brief video we take another look how to use KML files to be able to define your drone's flight program. Yes, we have done it before, but in my previous videos we were exporting a single line or let's say road alignment into KML and then we can define our 2D linear flight program. But let's assume that uh, we want to follow a similar approach, but we want to generate our 3D photogrammetry. Yes, we can do that boundary using uh, our hand by picking those points, but in some cases we need to be more precise, meaning that we can define this boundary line using some design package. And then we export it into KML file and obviously we assume that our drones controller software offers us to generate 3D photogrammetry automatically. But it seems that different software packages do export this boundary uh, into KML differently and we need to follow certain rules to make it successful. So in this video we use two different software packages. One is Civil 3D and the second one is Topcon's Magnet Office. Both can export KML files but do those differently and we just take a look uh, what should be followed to be successful so that you can actually generate 3D photogrammetry based on those exports. We also take a look into KML file structure itself. In that case you are able to use any kind of uh, software package to make it happen, meaning that you can reorder the data inside KML file and then you can be successful also inside your drones controller software. So at first we take a look uh, onto our computer screen, we follow some workflows and then we come back to our drones controller screen and we see those differences. Let's do that. So let's pick Civil 3D as an example. So I do have my line ready to be exported and uh, it is in form of polyline. To be able to export it into KML I can use export KML command and then I can use default name. Next I want to select just a single polyline so I select my polyline and then I can move forward clicking next. Next again I ensure that I do have my coordinate system defined so next and elevation can be zero, next, and then I can point to location to where I want to export it. I will select KML and also will add civil 3D into file name. I hit save and then export and close. So I should be ready now to import it into my controller's software and should be able to make a 3D photogrammetry. But it comes out that uh, actually I have to edit this file because otherwise I can't do that. And the reason is quite simple. If I take a look into this KML file, edit with notepad, then I can see that my lines, which are building up my ball line, are made of different lines. And my current drones software can understand only from the first line section. This is obviously a problem. So I need to reorganize this file to be successful. And in a minute I will show you how you can do that. But let's take another look. Let's use now Magnet Project. In here I do have the same drawing and I want to export the same polyline or string into KML file. So I will go to View, Google Earth, then I want to export only selection, just a line work, export to KML, OK and then I will use let's say MO in my file name and save. If I go and check this KML file inside some text editor I can see some differences. For example if I scroll down to the very end of the file I can see that my line is defined in one section only and this can be easily understood by our drones controller software. But we are still not ready to use that file because it comes out that we need to define our line inside Magnet Office differently. Mainly, we need to define or convert it into boundary. So let's do that first. I do still have my Magnet project ready. I can double click on this line, 
then I do have edit string or it can be also polyline. I will convert it into boundary or also polygon works. So I convert it into boundary. I give a name, project name. I hit OK. And now I can double check that my string or polyline is actually a boundary. And this makes a difference because if I now export this file into KML, let's do that. So once again, Google Earth, I export it into KML and let's use some different name like boundary and then save. If I open it using a text editor again, so maybe I don't see a big difference if I scroll down, but if I pay attention to the structure, I can see that in my previous export, I'm having lines. But in this example, I do have polygon. And in this way, we can use this file to define our 3D photogrammetry based flight program. But what about Civil 3D? How we can edit so that it can be used as well? For that, we take another look into simple structure, how KML file is organized. And we do that using Google Earth. So let's minimize those. I will open up my Google Earth. I will then create a new project based on KML from my computer. I can select, let's say, my Civil 3D KML file. I open it and of course it will show me the correct location. And I can also see how the structure is defined inside my Google Earth. Now, in this way, of course, I can export it again as a KML file, but this doesn't change again, meaning that uh, I get the same structure. Instead of this, I will use a different approach in where I just um, go back, I click new project, create KML file, new feature, and draw line or shape. Remember, I'm doing it just to get a structure of my KML file, and this workflow is not meant for precise boundary definition. Let's put a name and save. And if I export it into KML, let's use as Google Earth KML and hit save. Once again, if I now open this KML inside my notepad, I can see quite a minimal structure. And what is probably the most important part is down below. And it is starting with place mark. And I can see how the definition should be done meaning that I do have a linear ring, which is closed polygon, yes. And inside this file, I do have just those corner points. So in this way, I can define or redefine my Civil 3D as well. So let's do that. If I go back to my Civil 3D, yes, those coordinate values are important, but I can also see that uh, in here I do have my place mark. So what I can do, I will go to my Google Earth option, I will just remove those points and please pay attention to that uh, my first point is same as the last one. So I have to repeat it. I will delete those. Then I will go to my Civil 3D and let's just remove those lines that I don't need. I can, of course, copy those lines line by line. So it's up to you how to edit it. Also, please pay attention to that because those are line strings. You do have a start point and end point, and uh, to have a line ring, then you only need one point per row. What I'm doing now, I just remove those points which are defining the end point. Yes, and uh, I should actually say that my last point is same as the first point. So I will use the same point once again, like so. And now I will just take this part. I will go to my Google Earth and my coordinates are here. And basically, I'm ready to save it as a separate file. Let's use it, um, save it 3D, but edit it, KML, and I hit save. Everything else looks good. I do have some styles which are not so important and I can leave them uh, as is. I can close it. And now let's copy all those files into our SD card and let's see which one works and which doesn't. So we have inserted our memory card into Drone's controller and let's now use those KML files one by one. Civil 3D is the first one, non-edited version. And if I start the creation of my Drone's flight program, 
I can see that uh, I do have only one line. So this is definitely a problem and basically I just can't create a 3D photogrammetry. So I will quit and use another one. Let's pick Civil 3D again but now edited version. I will input it and now I will start the creation of my drones flight program. I can see straight away that I do have a boundary, closed boundary. This is a good thing already. Now I can click edit and I can see different methods and one of them is 3D photogrammetry. So this is how it should be. By importing KML I should be able to see the selection of different methods. I will exit once again and now let's move forward and use Magnet Office as an example. So first Magnet Office file, I import KML. This was exported as a string or polyline. I can see a closed boundary. This is already a good thing, but once I edit it, I don't see a selection of different methods. So this is no way to go. And now I will import a second one, which is exported as a boundary. I click start again, and now I can see a closed boundary or area. And if I edit, I can see a selection of different methods. So I'm good here as well. And finally, let's just pick also Google Earth version. We will input it, and now let's start the creation of a program. Once again, I can see a boundary and also area. If I edit, I can select a method. So, as you can assume, this is also good to go. And I can exit again. Of course, you may use some different design package. So please do use comments and uh, let me know which option works for you, how you can export your KML file so that your drone's controller understands it correctly. If you got excited to see my next episode, please do subscribe to my channel and you get notifications once I upload a new video. Bye-bye.